Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to High Vibrational Kings. This is a channel for people that want to better themselves in life. Shout out to anybody holding on to their energy, breaking bad addictions, and trying to become a better version of themselves. All right, guys. So in today's video, I want to talk about one of my favorite benefits that come from retention. And that is that you won't care anymore, man. You will have this I don't give a damn attitude, right? So first of all, I want to say there's two ways in not caring a negative way and a positive way you know a negative way of not caring is you know somebody that's just like doesn't care but like in a negative type of way where they're just like you know they don't care about what type of food they eat they don't care about their diet their health um a lot of things you know they kind of just like they don't have like that self-love right so they just like everything that revolves around them in their life is just like more based on negative things so it's like oh, i don't care man like but it's like affecting them in a negative way, right? But when I say that you have this I don't give a damn attitude, you have this carefree attitude when it comes to retention, it's very positive, man. And like, it's crazy, man. Like, it's so crazy. Like, you will just stop caring about a lot of things, you know? Retention just gives you like this pure, raw energy. You can't fake this energy, man. So when I say that you don't care, it's not like, you're like butthurt and you're like, oh, I don't care. But authentically, like you don't give a damn like about a lot of things. Right. Um, you know, before retention, a lot of things like used to like bother me. I would be more like on the uh, an emotional side. Um, but the thing about retention is that it puts you back into your masculine, into your masculine energy, into your masculine frame. So with masculine energy, you're more stoic. Right. What is stoic is just very non-reactive, very in your masculine energy. Like you're not really phased or bothered by like external things, right? And the thing about retention is it feels like a, you have like a force field around you, right? It feels like you're like spiritually protected. So it's like you have a force field around you and external like energies won't won't phase you as much, right? Like you won't really care about what other people think you will just naturally become more of yourself on this journey right you will be more of yourself you won't really care about like a lot of things man like the people's energy or like things like that man like it just doesn't phase you like how it used to because when you're watching the hub when you're always releasing it puts you in an emotional state it puts you in a reactive state where you lack that masculine energy you ma you lack that discipline that um that raw energy man that makes you a man okay so a lot of people in society are operating like very like low on their energy they're very easily offended you know they get easily offended easily like annoyed about things and the reason for that is because they're lacking spiritually. They're lacking that energy. They don't have that protective aura because they're always releasing that essence, man. And then their diet has a lot to do with it, too. And other bad addictions, what they consume, like on, on their phones. All of it ties in together in, in how their aura and their personality is, right? So the thing about retention, guys, it's so freeing, man. It's just like this feeling that you get of not giving a damn is very freeing because like you don't care about all the external like noise you don't care about the clutter or or the chatter i meant to say like you don't care about like the chatter um you start being more laser focused on things that matter right if something doesn't serve you a purpose if something or someone is kind of like throwing like negativity at you it's not even going to phase you because it doesn't even it literally has nothing to do with you like for example let me make an example when it comes to like haters uh, or envious people online you know I'm not even phased by it guys it's crazy like I'm not even phased because I'm so focused on like other things in my life that when somebody throws like negativity on like videos like this or, or in general it's just like, I can't even take it serious, man. Like, I'm literally, like, my vibration feels like 
really high that like that's all it is man it's like an energy game guys when you're when you have a high vibration you're feeling high on life you're feeling good you're feeling energetic you're feeling abundant in your energy anything that is under you it's not even gonna phase you as much like people that are vibrating like at a lower frequency when they throw like stones at you or they're envious or jealous or when they say something negative in the comments they're basically trying to get your attention they're trying to get like a reaction out of you right so like i said when it comes to like these haters it's hilarious man it's actually kind of hilarious when i see like a negative comment and it's like they get offended because i won't give them my attention right your energy is your spiritual currency man the same way that we have money you wouldn't give money to a hater so why are you going to give your energy to a hater as well like there's people out here that are like energy vampires man they just go around like spreading like negativity just to get in a reaction because they're lacking from within they're lacking energy from within so now they're trying to get it externally right they're trying to throw negativity and try to get a reaction out of somebody but the thing about retention like i said it makes you very stoic it makes you very like abundant man like you you just don't give a damn man like authentically like you don't care bro you have that i don't give a damn attitude man like you don't care about um you know like a lot of things man like the female attraction like it doesn't even phase you or just like people throwing like shade uh it doesn't matter like i don't care if somebody likes me or somebody hates me because yeah at the end of the day i'm like i'm i'm whole and complete like within myself like i'm retention it makes you do like the inner work right so nobody knows you like you know yourself you know and it's like it's it's a very freeing feeling to have is the, just not caring right but in a positive way in a, in a way that doesn't affect you okay and that's very important man that's very important like being as a man being cool calm and collective not being so easily moved out of your center right Cause that's what I noticed, man. Like retention, it like it attracts people, like all types of people. You know, you become the light in like a dark world, right? You're radiating positive energy. So when people like come into your life, um, it's like the analogy where it's like a a light and like like a light bulb and like some moths, right? Things are attracted to the light. But not all the things that are attracted to the light are positive, right? There are people on here that that just show love and I appreciate y'all and like, you know, good vibes and stuff like that. But there's also people that are like offended, you know, or they're just like annoyed. It's kind of like your your light brings out like the demons within them and now they feel some type of way. Like, it's crazy, bro. It's like, obviously... um. You know, nobody's gonna like every single person, right? Like, that's impossible. You're not gonna like everybody's vibe, okay? Like, I be watching videos sometimes, and just because I don't vibe with somebody's videos doesn't necessarily mean that I'm, like, envious or jealous. I just click off the video and I just go somewhere else. But like I said, there's people out there that literally watch um, other people's content just to hate, just to throw negativity out. And it's so, it's so hilarious, guys, because, like, sometimes I'm totally unaware of it, you know? Sometimes I'll be, like, reading comments and things like that, and I notice, like, a comment or a person that's been hating for months, and I didn't even know it. It's like they didn't even exist, guys. And that's another thing that I want to mention, man, is, like, these type of people don't really exist, like, in your reality. Like, yes, we live in this 3D world, right? We, like we all share like similarities and things like that but you know as individuals we have like our own reality we have like our own close circle of people that we know but when it comes to like the internet guys i can't even take that serious man because like they don't even nobody really knows each other like on the internet so when people come and throw like negativity or try to like argue online it's so feminine like that that type of energy like the drama and the arguing it's so like beta guys like straight up man like you'll never find me arguing with somebody back and forth because there's literally no reason to do that right especially like if they're a stranger you know 
where focus goes, energy flows, right? So why am I going to give my energy onto someone that I don't even know? They don't even know me. It's just pointless, right? On on retention, guys, you will you will not put up with a lot of bullshit that you might have put up with back then before before you discover retention. Um, it just creates it it creates like a lot of power like from within. So, like I mentioned earlier, like your energy is like spiritual currency. So it's like money. So if something doesn't benefit you, you're not going to give your time and attention towards it. You're just going to keep it pushing, right? That right there, it's like you're keeping your power and your attention to yourself. You know, like I said, there's energy vampires that just want to grab your attention, grab like your energy, like get a reaction out of you. But what are they going to do? Like if you don't do that, they ain't going to do nothing. It's literally like them talking to a wall, right? A person on retention, a man on retention that becomes very stoic and non-reactive is like a dangerous man it's like and it annoys people too it annoys people that are not on that level right for whatever reason you know not doing the inner work so now they're projecting their negativity out externally right that's what it is man like a lot of people are just projecting like the negative energy onto other people so it's important to not take things personal right because nobody even like especially like on the internet guys like nobody really knows each other like that so i remember back then you know back in the days you know like on social media you know you'd be arguing with like strangers online and like where did that take you it didn't take you anywhere it was just like a waste of time and it's just like that right there is energy exchange like your phone like i mentioned before is a portal right it's a portal to energy so if you're looking at something funny you're going to get like that those good vibes, right? But if you're like consuming like negativity, that's what you're going to get as well. All right? And the people that put like negative energy out there, they're just basically harming themselves. They're basically like cursing themselves because what you put out into the world is what you'll get back. So if you're like a negative person and you're always spreading hate and you're always dramatic and you're always negative, your mind can't tell the difference. It thinks that it's talking negative about itself. So now you're going to be on a lower uh, vibration, a lower frequency. But compared to people that are like of the light, people that are always trying to like, you know, uplift other people, right? Spread like love and peace and all those things. It's basically coming back to them as well, right? They will experience more peace and more of that good energy in their life because that's what they're putting out. You could call it karma. You could call it whatever you want. But it's true, man. Like what you put out into the world is what you'll get back. Right? It's like uh, it's like the universe is like a mirror, you know? And um, yeah, this video is all over the place, man. But this is straight up a gem, man. Like I could tell, man, this video is a gem. Uh, I just, I'm just speaking my mind right now. I'm in that flow state energy. My energy is high, as you could tell, man. But like that's something I want to talk about, man. It's just kind of hilarious, like. Like you, you have this, I don't give a damn attitude, bro, but it's not, some people take offense to it, but it's just like that raw energy that comes from retention. Like you don't care, bro. Like authentically, you don't care. It's like you feel so abundant, like in your energy, you feel so good that, like I said, like external sources don't even phase you, man. You know, people will be offended. People will feel some type of way, but that literally has nothing to do with you, you know? And like I mentioned, there's people out there that just watch videos, just watch other people instead of focusing on themselves. So it's kind of like a sad reality to think about. But that's why, like, like I said, where focus goes, energy flows. So make sure you're putting your energy on the right things. And that's how you grow, like spiritually and mentally, right? It will make you more mentally strong. And um, yeah, man, it's, it's a awesome, that's an awesome benefit to have on... You know like on retention is just being very nonchalant very stoic very like i don't care like you have this i don't care attitude like you don't care about uh, a lot of things but in a positive way another example that i want to mention before i wrap this video up is you know one time like i uh i lost my job but it was for a reason because like the company was like moving to a different location 
and uh, it was too far of a drive for me. And like, I just felt like I didn't give a shit, man. Like I was stoic. Like I was just like, other people would have been like freaking out. But like, I just had this type of energy. Like I didn't give a damn. And like literally like one week, one week later, I just got another job because <clears throat> I felt abundant, like in my energy, like I wasn't panicking. Like I was just like cool, calm and collective because I had that. I don't give a damn attitude. Right. And just like I like I knew it's just such a hard feeling to explain guys like you don't care man like in a very positive way like you don't care bro and it's a beautiful thing man like not caring about what other people think just living your own life it's just such a amazing feeling man like not folk not even caring about like what other people are doing um <clears throat> you know not responding to like negative energy uh it benefits you man like i said it's like another example, like you wouldn't you wouldn't let a douchebag live in your house. So why are you going to let them live in your mind? Right. It's the same thing, man. You just got to be very aware and vigilant of where your energy goes to. Right. If it's not better benefiting you in a positive way, if it's not uplifting you, then don't give your energy to it, man. Because like I said, your phone is a portal. Uh, people can be like energy vampires willingly or unwillingly. Uh, they could just drain your energy and it's very important to like protect your energy out here so you could be abundant and you could like focus on yourself and do the inner work in order to evolve and you know manifest greatness into your life man it's good to have positive energy and, and try to be in that positive state right and you know it's like your mind is like a garden you could feed it or like your mind is like a garden it could grow flowers or it could grow weeds it's just what you give your attention to man um it was like a it was like a picture that i seen i don't know if i said it right but it's the same, it's like that guys like whatever you give your energy energy to that's what's gonna grow for me right you could you could have a garden of just weeds and just a bunch of crap or you could have like work on yourself you know give your energy and your time onto things that are gonna benefit you and, you know, the garden in your mind will just start growing, like, in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Or another analogy is, you know, the wolf, right? The good and the bad wolf. Which wolf will win? The one that you feed. All right? So, uh... <laughs> Woo! I don't give a shit, bro. Let's go, man. Corn free 2023. Maintain your frame. Retang gang. Shit. Man, the energy is high in this one, guys. Holy shit, I'm at 18 minutes, bro. But y'all see the glow, man. And I, man, this life force energy is no joke, bro. Woo! Let's go, let's go, man. All right. <laughs> I'm wilding now, bro. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. You won't give a shit on retention. And you'll be very abundant in your energy. So <laughs> with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.